Welcome to this episode of Realm Rolling, where we flesh out our adventure slate. We got to figure out what the rest of our realms are. So we're going to be rolling some D100s. Alan, can you kind of tell us what's going on? This is the second time we've seen John on screen. John and Cody, who are two other people that we play with, but who have not been here for the first your first campaign, they jumped into a realm rolling. John rolled up two realms to start with. One was realm nine, which you just pitched conceptually as a never ending descending staircase, which has a lot of options. It's a good idea for one shot, could be a premise that turns into something else. Right, that was your first idea. Did I come up with that? That's what my notes say. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, like, oh, that's really good. I'm yeah, brilliant. I mean, I think so. I'll ride with that. The other I remember idea, the other one. The other idea is Realm 17, which you said was loosely based on a podcast. We haven't yep. done that before. Yep, the left-right game. So I researched that a little bit, but it sounded like if I read it too much, there would be spoilers. Please but, don't. Yeah, okay, cool. Also, horrible podcast in, entirely in Spanish or whatever languages you don't speak. So, Is it really not an English podcast? Nope, don't even try and listen. I'm just trying to dissuade you from oh, clicking okay, it. Okay. Are you still in character? Because that's good marketing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now I'm like, what is the exact type of marketing? You that passed your performance check because I was like, is it really Spanish? What? Um, no. I understand it. So uh, yeah, try listening to it. See if you understand. Cody, who I asked if he wanted to, to show up today, did not. But he rolled up two realms. One, uh, he just said Diablo. So somehow we'll have a Diablo vibe right. that could maybe replace the lower planes realm that we have. I don't know. His other one was fun. He rolled a 21, but he said the premise is God mode. And he said everyone level 20, oh. not just all the players. Everyone. Everyone. Oh. And, and, level 20 commoner. Well, yes. <gasps> so it's like, is everyone polite? Is it very polite society? Is everyone just superheroes? What's the, oh, that opens up a lot of storytelling. That would be options. a fun one to DM. It would. Um, but since it was Realm 21, I, I would also say somewhere in there is like everyone is trying to get to level 21 and they don't know how. It's like getting oh. as close as possible to the speed of light, but you can't quite make it. What does it take? Maybe you can't. I don't know. But just he coincidentally rolled 21. So. Technical. Hey, Jake. What's going on, buddy? Everything Everything's okay? Everything's fine. You doing good? I mean, I'm in like a, a post DMing kind of like like smoking a cigarette after sex kind of thing because I just went through the gauntlet. If you haven't seen what's going on here and what's strewn about in, fr in front of me, be excited. We just came back from Realm 69. Realm 69. We uh, need a name for that realm. What do you want to name it? The party realm. <laughs> nice. Sure. We are pregnant with Z Krieg Academy, which is your next campaign. I don't like that word. <laughs> It's crowning. Ugh, the the campaign better. is crowning. It's a two session campaign. We were, it was actually on the books today, but uh, Kyle, who was lined up for it, scheduling, blah, blah, blah. So we did this crazy Realm 69 idea. Good or bad experiment on Realm 69? Uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, I don't want to give too much away in this video, especially if it comes out before. Let's just say I, as the DM, was almost as surprised at what was happening as the players. So it was, it was fun. I know that it was a lot of work because I'm looking at somebody who was using a label maker. So if it was if it was fun for you to set up and fun for you to watch experience, yes, then I sure. would definitely do it again. For sure. And some of that was like, maybe it's not a good experiment because it makes more sense for someone to show up with a one shot and know what the frick it is. But like how to lay out things and be like, oh, you flip this card. Um, I call myself a game runner. You're the dungeon master. Having someone be like, hey, do this. I didn't. No, you're, you're my producer. I didn't for explain it. Right. I, was, I was looking at Alan most of the time going, is this okay? And <laughs> because just, I didn't. No. And I, I'm just playing poker. I'm like, what? What are you doing? Something? <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. I'm busy. I'm playing two hands at once. <laughs> two hands. Two hands. Um, are you playing blackjack so, or poker? <laughs> that's a big banana. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Everyone at the table. I'm going to give a Redemption Realm 2. Um, so it's optional today. If there's a realm you have in your mind, I'll let you roll for it. I've got one. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. But another thing I want to do is have some other realms queued up so people can think about things. If we have a busted session, someone can have a one shot ready. So Jay, I'm going to have you roll. And if we land on one of your realms, we're going to skip it. But roll and tell me what it is. Uh, 86. 86 is Drew's Zombie Killing Fields, which is would be a great one shot. So I'll tell him, work on getting that on deck. Or if he wants someone else to run it, anoint someone to kind of come up with that. Roll again. 94. This is Kyle's, it's the Dodecagon. Also a good one for a one shot. Oh, is that like the fighter one? 
It's a, a cage match, match. premised one, which I don't know. Someone could noodle up a wrestling kind of character. That'd be cool if somebody they could did a wrestling keep character. Keep that character in their back pocket specifically for that realm. That'd be good. I hope no one uses one before that. <laughs> You're going to just back to back have to do Randy Savage for like three realms. <laughs> Why don't get better and better? Um, Rob, we had talked about either doing the Prohibition realm. Or um, World War One uh, Cthulhu. Well, I was just gonna do the uh, Cthulhu one for you know because it seems like we might need a one shot. Uh, so that's kind realm, of on deck. That's Realm Eleven. So and that'll also be queued up and, and ready. And it sounded like you wanted to try to DM it, but if you want to ride it and have I'll someone DM else, it, yeah. cool. 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 All it's, right, been, it's been uh, many a moon. Maybe it'll suck. It has to be better than what just happened. <sighs> my, my feelings. <laughs> no, I meant my execution. Oh. It's gonna be you know super grim dark because. I don't know if you could have all of those. I don't know if I can handle a grimdark. Every campaign that I've ever run has been grimdark. Except for this one. Say, well, yeah, except for this one. This one was a little different. All right, Jay, it sounded like you had a redemption realm. I have one that I would like to enter onto the board. I have an idea floating around. I watched a movie recently that I've got inspiration from. Uh, roll first, tell me what the number is. 51. That's, that's open. Let's just say in this realm, 51, there is a gathering of, of hero parties. Hundred of them from across this giant city have all met up because there's been this one charismatic leader who's going to take the party, f take all these parties and elevate them up to a higher status. They're going to unionize under this guy who's a charismatic leader and every adventure party is in attendance to listen to him speak. While at this giant gathering where this guy is telling about this plan to take back the power from this king, from the king that's been beating them down and preventing adventurers, he is assassinated and the blame gets pinned on a certain party of player characters that will be at the table and they have to get back to their realm of the city, their territory, while 99 other player parties are hunting them for assassinating this leader. They either have to clear their name, get home, or die trying. Kink, 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 play a party, C come out to play. Yay! And that movie, of course, is? The Warriors. Light. The Fighters. Light. John, I didn't tell you to think about it ahead of time. If you have something in mind, we can roll for it. If you want to skip and save save this for later, we can. No, I could roll uh, based on life experience. Uh, uh, roll first. 92. That's free. 92. Okay, is so everyone gets type 1 diabetes. and No, uh, but similarly. And you're trapped in a candy shop. It's, uh, it's a realm... Uh, of orcish hospitality where the players are a party of line cooks in uh, up and coming orc bar and tavern where uh, almost like instead of typical combat, uh, the waves would happen and maybe like a school bus of orc kids shows up and you need to feed them and, and turn them out before the next lunch crowd gets there. Maybe it's like senior Saturday and you got to deal with some cranky angries. Uh, so you'd all be, the players would be non-orcs working in this orc hospitality den. I like it. So as far as we know, running a restaurant, but perhaps other shenanigans happen. Likely shenanigans. I love this. That's great. Anything else you want to add before we see if Rob has a realm he wants to roll? Um, there will be no professional wrestlers by name in that <laughs> realm. Just as a safety Instead valve. Of yes, chef, it's yes, chief. Yeah. Well, because they're they're working <laughs> yeah. at they're professionally chefs. They'd be amateur wrestlers of that. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But you, their cream always rises to the top. So in every kitchen. And you scoop it off and that's your way. Yeah, you, the, the, you skin it. Rob, do you have a realm idea that you didn't get to pitch? We'll, we'll pitch it later. Okay. Hey, our Eddie, what, what about you? D tell me what it is. 27. Uh, 27 is open. What is your idea? Uh, so <laughs> um, there's this Reddit thread that I keep seeing that I think would be really, really cool where uh, the characters don't know what they are at all. And so they're like walking around and the DM goes, oh, you know, not a lot of people have seen a dragon board before. And they're like, oh, I'm a dragon board. And they're like filling in their character sheets as they play. So kind of the opposite of this, I think. 
Uh, and I think that would be super, super fun, but a whole lot of work on the DM. I, I've seen that idea before and I love it. Um, but it's like someone, like they, they don't even know their strength. Yeah. Or, or, so they would get attacked and the DM would say, oh, your modifier is minus two. And they're like, oh, I guess I'm somewhere between eight and nine right. strength. L like the DM knows your character. You don't know anything on it. And you have to infer or like probe yes. and figure it out. I love that idea. I'd love I've to see that. I've always wanted to do it. I never wanted to run it. Do you have a, if we can make someone else run it for sure. I, I love it. it. I, oh, I had also in the last realm rolling pitched a realm that I only described with one word. It's realm 78 Legos. Mm. Um, there are two more in the similar vein. I just wanted to pitch real quick. Realm 44, which is not taken. I'm going to call that the short film realm. Ooh. What could that be? We don't know. We'll never get there. 13 does not. I'm going to call that open mic night. 13 is open mic night? Yes, that sir. That is the worst luck. Yeah. Improv yeah. troop. All I have are Jewish jokes. What oh, that? no. What, what could oh, that mean? No. We don't know. We may never get there, but just something oh. to think about. Thanks for watching this episode of Realm Rolling, where we flesh out our ideas and get more realms in the queue. Um, once again, like, please like and subscribe us. Check us out on YouTube Shorts. We've got a TikTok now. Please come back and watch World of 100 Realms. <laughs> yeah. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I need a lozenge. <laughs>